And good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Welcome to another Saturday stream here on the channel. We're going to be doing some more cruising in Colorado. And as you guys can see, a little bit hard here in this image, depending on your monitor. Uh, we do have the paint job reward from the Cruising Colorado event. And right now we are sitting here in Burlington. First run today is going to be going over to the gold mine in in Montrose. Paul, Soap, Quente, how's it going today, guys? Great to see you. Underneath the hood, we have a an MP8. This is a 565 horsepower Maxi Cruise engine. We are running Robin Icus's engine mod today. So, uh, better than the 505. Should hopefully help here with the hills and everything in Colorado. And without any further waiting, let's climb in the truck, get her fired up, and let's do some trucking. Okay, here we go. Pretty good, Paul. Iskrin, Josh, how's it going today, guys? Welcome. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, we got another train coming the other way. What do we got here, an Amtrak? Oh no, another freight car, freight train. Uh, this one is really cruising along. Wow, that's some speed. Mark, what's going on today? Uh, we should be streaming tomorrow, AJ. No, we did not get any damage. I'm going to guess uh, we may get it next month. Now, that's speculation on my part, but based on the stream on Thursday that Colorado did, an SCS employee, when asked about a Freightliner, put a gift uh, box in for a reply. So, uh, I mean, it is coming. How are you doing today, Kirk? Uh, one terabyte external? Uh, absolutely no idea. Stay left, then turn left. Turn left. Now, we are not running any graphics mods today either, so uh, this is going to be the just regular default graphics. One thing that I did re-enable from Thursday was the NVIDIA Profile Inspector tweaks.
go straight. If you want to save a little bit of money, Josh, you can always check out the Pacific Northwest bundle. Any content that you currently own would not be rebought. And at least you'll get the bundle discount that way. Normally, I do run JBX graphics. Uh, there are a little bit of stuttering issues because I've been messing around with it both yesterday most of the time. And I did get some stuttering with that enabled, so uh, we just went ahead and disabled that for today. And I am fine with default graphics. The only thing that I really dislike is you get beyond the SMAA range. You'll notice on fences and even on the overpasses, there is some flickering and shimmering. That's what the biggest thing that I would love to see fixed. hazmat too uh we really should not be going through the eisenhower johnson tunnel but we are going to be i thought that launch was scheduled for tonight paul Bob, what's going on today? Oh, we got lucky. We don't need to pull into the chicken coop. Yes, that is exactly why I am not running it, Bob. I mean, the, a post was fixed. Uh, 
was mentioned on the forums on how to fix that. However, I noticed some stuttering also when I did that. So, uh, and one is not too far off from releasing version 0.3, which will be compatible with Colorado. And knock on wood there. but it comes with Idaho since you had mentioned that you didn't get the last one either. Not using a trailer mod, this is the SES reefer that we have and uh, traffic, not using any traffic mods. I did bump the G traffic up to two today. Uh, just to get a little bit more traffic. Hey, Miguel, what's going on today? one or two. Colorado is awesome and by far the most gorgeous state yet. Now here's a thing that if we think Colorado is nice wait till we get Montana. Sorry about the lean up there twice, guys. Uh, basically, um, I had to check my email very quickly. I heard it go off. And not that I'm expecting an email, but you never know. No, I doubt Montana is coming next. More than likely, I'm going to say we're going to see Wyoming next year and then probably Texas. But again, that's my assumption. That's not set in stone. drivers. And that's just guessing. They've been working on Texas since 2018. So that's why I am saying that. But also, Pavel earlier this year teased something quote-unquote big. Now, what that means is anybody's guess. As 
as a matter of fact, they are Iskrin. They just released a blog post that shows the entirety of the cities that they have worked on for Canada so far. Doing pretty good today, AJ. A lot of people assume Texas is just all flat. That could not be more untrue. Yeah, you get around the central part of the state, it is, but there are some uh, pretty nice sized hills there in Texas. And I'm just gonna pop this up here because we're coming up to the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnel. We got hazmat. Hazmat is not allowed to go through tunnels, so I mean, there's no way around this either, so basically I think they're just going to ignore it. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Echo check past. Oh yeah, we are going to Montrose to the gold mine, so we're going to be hitting the million dollar highway this first run too. Hey Joker, what's going on today? Yep, we're going to get it probably right after the Glenwood Canyon. Either that or maybe uh, we should Hopefully should have enough to get to Farida, and hopefully I said that properly. Pretty much the same here, Joker. All right, we're not supposed to do this, but I'm getting by XPO. There you go, now I don't have to keep spiking my brakes. Yowzers, hope everybody get out of that car, all right? Appreciate it, Iskrin. It's one of the default options on the trailer, Josh.
No, they've been there since the beginning. Oh, they've done really, really well here with the Glenwood Canyon. Uh, definitely I like the canyon better than the Virgin River Gorge. Uh, this looks just way, way better. rest area that is that exit right there uh, in real life I have stopped there that place is actually quite tiny uh, you really can't fit more than one or two trucks back there it's definitely more made for cars than anything hey big dub what's going on today We got enough to get to Fruita. Or is it said Fruita? I actually have no idea how to pronounce that. stopped at this little fuel stop on Thursday that thing was extremely busy with cars constantly going in and out it was more of a pain in the butt so that's why we're going out a little bit more Can you imagine going through Tennessee and Kentucky?
Jade Jr., what's going on? Uh, it wouldn't be branded Flying Jade by SES. Uh, you might be using like a real company mod or some sort to change that. I love how they actually did that. You see that fuel price changing? That's the diesel. That's the difference between cash and credit. I don't think they've ever did that before. It might be coming, Trey. We got one more truck coming this year that I kind of think was teased on Thursday. I wouldn't doubt that, Bob. There we go, that's like a little bit better picture of the truck. Or at least a paint job. Alright, one thing I'm also going to change here is... Uh, the GPS voice. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's up here. There we go.
happened here? Ah, truck's being a pain in the butt, it looks like. Are you guys ready for the million dollar highway? I need over a lane. Keep to the right, and then turn right. Oh wait, I, we're not going... Yeah, we actually are not going the all way over the million dollar. We're actually going out to this Namek, which is one of the gold mines. But uh, from there, we're going to see if we can go down to Durango and then come across into like Alamosa or something like that. And I got to get rid of that, that little ding dong there. That's a royal pain in the butt. I don't want to be listening to that all day long. There we go. I can't help you there, Alex. I don't use Truck's book. Stay on the road, Coda.
going to the gold mine in Montrose, Jesse. Randy, what's going on? You idiotic four-wheeler. Yeah, we need a doctor's note, Randy. Uh, two new loads in 139. One of them is cans, uh, and then the other is, oh, what the heck did they add? Ah, uh, the, the other load that they added was paper. So two new loads, cans and paper, and that is it. And we definitely need more diversity when it comes to cargo. I mean, I will admit that. They reworked their cargo icons for the low boys, but that's about it. Still can't do tr uh, special transport with it. At least with an own trailer, you can. I've mentioned it before, but why you guys mostly see a reefer behind me is it's probably the most versatile trailer in the game. And anything that will go into a dry van or even a curtain side will go into a reefer. Hey, you guys want any coffee? There's a, one of the new restaurants there, Coffee Break. Now, I didn't do it on Thursday, guys, but should we see if we can fall off the cliff in the up here on the Million Dollar Highway just for giggles?
Just get a speeding ticket, Jesse. You've asked that before. I have not yet, Miguel. Let's see if we can find that today, too. I'm wondering if that might be down on the 160. So running between Durango and Alamosa. Yeah, but first we gotta stop being a suicide jockey since we got dynamite on the wagon. Uh-oh, sounds like Randy has experience with that. Now, I do know this is one of the gold mines because I did get the gold rush achievement I only went in and out of this one here so I'm not sure if there's I'm there's got to be other gold mines in Colorado besides this one if there is I haven't found it yet Now, if need be, if there's no loads going out of Montrose to, say, Alamosa, what we're going to do is we're going to drive over the Million Dollar Highway down to Durango and then take a look. And that gate got me the first time I came through here, and then it just got me again. say oh that's actually gonna be an easier one No, Paul, uh, we really didn't hit the gate. It went up pretty quickly. So I'm just going to take a look and see if there's anything here, uh, which there may not be. Yeah, nothing. Let's check externals here for Montrose. Because uh, what I'd like to do is like go to Alamosa. 
and nothing so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and just set our GPS uh, we're gonna go down to Durango uh, I guess we'll go right to the repair shop there and then we'll try to get something going across the 160 here over to Elamosa or even if we need to go into Lamar And give me one second here. I got to reset the uh, size of the font when I was screwing around there and talking. Uh, made my chat extremely big. There we go. Please proceed to the highlighted route. And guess what? Uh, I don't think I'm going to drive through the mine to get out of here. We're just going to go back out the exact same way that we came. Yeah, we're actually going to see if we can fall off the cliff. I don't know if anybody has tried to do that previously, uh, but uh, we're going to wait until we get through most of the Million Dollar Highway before we do that. I'm not de definitely not going to do it right at the beginning. Oh yeah, the top part of this skin is uh, completely color changeable. I just left it at the default. Energy from above, that's the nacelle and the tower to both of the, uh, the construction sites for Vetus Power. If it's anything like the runaway truck ramp when going over the uh, grapevine in California, if you go in there, you're going to have fun getting out. Yeah, that one also screwed me up, Randy. I, I knew about the construction in Denver. I didn't realize that Pueblo also had a construction. I'm sitting there going, where is the other one at? And then you've got the factory in Pueblo, and then way out in the woods you have the construction. It's like, it took me a little bit to figure that out. Hey, Brenton, what's going on today? Take care, Paul. Levi, what's going on today?
doing awesome like a possum. Driving award. Thank you. What this road is going to be like once Truckers MP gets updated for 139 and Colorado. This is going to be like the Bellingham logging road. Liam, yes, I am. Right on their website, Levi TruckersMP.com. Alright, if we get a nice little cliff up here, we're actually going to see if we can fall over it. Uh, yeah, and you're probably going to get some idiot who's going to take a 180,000 pound load up here and then get stuck. Oh, I'm sure there will be plenty of stupid people who are doing stuff like that, Randy. It's almost a guarantee.
Actually, we may need to backtrack in order to see if we can run over the cliff. I don't think there's anything up here. Navigation All right, so we moved ourselves back just so we can just test to see. Oh, it looks like we get stuck immediately. or maybe we just hit that rock there yeah uh, we're gonna have to we'll try up the way here a little bit Navigation okay back on the roadway that makes it easy hey Tony what's going on today Yeah, at least I don't think you're going to be able to get over this with the trailer on. Uh, landing gear is going to get stuck on. Then there may be invisible walls, so you can't. But anyways, we're going to tow ourselves to Durango, probably. Oh, uh, nope, it's not. All right. Uh, no, we'll go back to where we were. Navigation All right, so apparently you can't fall off the cliff. No, we were testing to see if we could fall off the cliff was all. Yeah, that would be my guess, Randy. Oh, probably they did, Bob. And every now and then in ETS2 multiplayer, if you find a proper exit, you can pretty much launch yourself. Oh, it's still early afternoon here, Tony, and so far, so good. I've already got cruising Colorado complete, Nathaniel.
to the right, and then turn right. Turn right. That's a lot of trucking still. Now that makes me wonder though, how are they going to be able to do two events at once? If they say they're going to keep the Cruising Colorado event going for a while, normally we get a Christmas event too. Maybe we don't get a Christmas event this year? Yeah, I'm not downgrading it just in order to jump on Trucker's MP. I mean, I will wait for them to update. Oh, don't say that, Bob. We may have to help uh, get gifts into the stores for uh, Santa this year. Turn left. Oh, I know it's not going to be long before the country gets locked down again. As much as the governors of the states aren't going to want to do it, uh, with this thing spreading like wildfire, and there's no other choice. I don't see any other way. And all I'm doing is fixing that damage that I got from trying to go over the cliff. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? I'd rather do external, uh, to be honest. Oh, I might need to get off the repair icon. Well, economies will recover. You can't save lives unless we do something. Wow, no external jobs down here. Okay. Alright, there's Alamosa. Do we have Lamar? Nope, all Alamosa. Alright, so uh, at least we'll get across the 160. Uh, let's run our butts back to Tidbit. Actually, before we take that job, uh, 9.30. I just want to take a look at what time it was due. Uh, 
Uh, nope, can't do that. Let's go ahead and change my time first. All right, 6 a.m., daylight. Yeah, all the same, which is fine. And, of course, we're going to take the one that pays the most here, which is uh, 12000 I think. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Normally, I bowl on Monday nights, which is why I don't stream, but uh, actually, my bowling it for the time being is done. Uh, the owners of the bowling center got COVID, and they are pretty sick. They're not hospitalized, so that's probably the good part about it. Now, how long I will be out of bowling until they are able to open back up, have no idea. Arrived at your destination. Oh, neither would I, Randy.
Now, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemies. I mean, this is nasty what we're going through. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Well, they're guesstimating another 200,000 people are going to die by March 1st. Well, if they don't get it under control, it may be 500,000. Hey, Chrissy, what's going on today? Hey, Landon, what's going on today? What's that, Randy? There's already another mod out there that does that, and I've already got accused by... for creating my mod that I stole their idea. I mean, you can't steal an idea. And no, I did not steal the mod. I'm not going to put any COVID-19 messages in there because some other idiot will cry foul. And next time you guys are on the Steam discussions, if you want to see the post, uh, if you go into the workshop mod discussions, and you may need to go back two or three pages in order to see it, but the thread was near, was pretty much immediately locked. Yeah, I got accused of stealing a mod when I made my variable message signboard mod. I don't think I've ever ran that truck landing. And here's the funny part. The guy has a link on the SCS forums for his one with COVID-19 messages. And his mod is now crashing left and right in Colorado. Mine isn't. I mean, 
you tell me which one is better made because it they basically it changed the same files that SES provided I mean I'm sitting here it's like okay whatever guys Bosnian, what's going on today? Alright, I'm going to have to pay attention because I have not been on this road. Heaven forbid you if we run into a rusty guardrail. So what we are in search of right now is the big old cattle farm. Absolutely no idea where it is at here in the game. How close did we get? Hey, that's maybe like a foot. Oh, but this is a brand new paint on the truck. I don't want to scratch it up. I'm, I'm just not familiar with the state as of yet, Bosnian find out where exactly it is and I'm not snooping on anybody else's videos to ruin the surprise we will find it eventually I ever saw. I want to know how he did that without snapping his gland hands off.
not at the current game version sister's house uh you would need to downgrade to 138 and then download and install truckers mp It is not, uh, it is a group of developers who devote their personal time, well, I'm not going to say devote, uh, they use their personal time in order to have a multiplayer option for the game, as the game by default does not have one. Point up here. We're gonna stop and take a look at that. All depends on your internet connection when it comes to Truckers MP. Anything over 600 milliseconds and you automatically get the kick. But yeah, uh, sound wise, as of right now, it is glitchy. I did Bosnian and I did experience stutters and things like that, so I have it disabled, at least until one gets version 0.3 out out to everybody. Gorgeous view. That's simply amazing. One thing that is missing, where are the deer at being on the hillside? Hello, four-wheeler. Didn't you see a big old truck trying to merge?
again, this is one of the other things. Just imagine this having dynamic weather and this is all snowy. echo in the snow shed. Grimesmods.wordpress.com got echo. I grew up in Buffalo. Uh, yes, it gets cold. Yes, it gets snowy. Uh, I mean, it's all that lake effect. As long as a, if the lake does not freeze, Buffalo can get plastered. No, they are not the same Bosnian. Each manufacturer does have their... Oh boy. Whoops. I mean, I hate the AI when they just slam on their brakes for no reason. Uh, but back to your question, Bosnian. Each truck manufacturer does have a quote-unquote in-house engine. And then the most popular one outside of those is going to be Cummins. farm fields, no cows. Oh, but I saw a high school track over there. take Detroit Diesel for example Bosnian back when I was driving they were their own separate brand but now that Daimler North America bought them 
you are only able to get Detroit Diesels either in a Freightliner or a Western Star. You can still get the older Detroits and make what's called a glider. Hey Jim, what's going on today? That depends, Bosnian. Your older trucks, yeah, you can basically put anything in them that you want. Say if you were going to go out and buy a 2018 389 or W900, you're going to have a choice of either a Packard MX engine or a Cummins. Of course, you do have the option, if you like, of taking those engines out and putting in whatever you would like of course but that cost is pretty expensive nope maybe in version 1.40 we'll get it along with dirt There, there's the train horn. Oh wait, never mind, that's the uh, truck horn. <laughs> Sorry. Bad joke. Is that the, is this going to be the farm right up here that has all the cows? I don't know, but I smell dairy air. Still nothing. I believe is what we're just coming into. Well, at least the outskirts of it. Yeah, most companies uh, these days do not offer a roller or what you would use to make a glider kit. I mean, it's not feasible for them anymore. And plus you got all the EPA stuff that you need to go through. Well, you still can to a point, Randy. Uh, not like you used to be able in the past. Yeah, you can do a custom order through Peterbilt, Kenworth, or whatnot. Choose your paint design, your colors, and whatnot. Uh, but it does add significant cost to the truck itself.
I mean, anymore, I think it's just easier to get a wrap for the truck uh, with the design that you want instead of having it painted like that from the factory. Now that we are here in Alamosa, the next run that we're going to try to take is going to be to Lamar. Turn left. Whoops, I needed to turn over there. Yep, Cody is crazy today. Doesn't know where the hell he's going. Turn left. Now we got it. city Bosnia but I haven't explored every single city Okay, nothing really there. Alright, let's get out of this company here a little bit. Oh, I think I might know part of the problem here too, is where I've got my own, my own trailer on, so there's probably not a whole lot of cargo here. Yeah, there isn't. So, uh, let's just check the regular externals. There we go. There's a bunch of them. 
Alright, anything going to Lamar? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Regular freight market. And nope, nothing. But, uh... What we'll do is, uh... I don't know, I guess we're gonna have to go to Raton and pick something up, and then from maybe Raton to Lamar? Or do we go up to Colorado Springs and then try to go to Lamar? Yeah, I think we're, we're going to do that. We'll go from uh, Colorado Springs, go up to Namek, and then we'll try to get to Lamar from there. Hit this road right in there. A little hard to see, but yeah. I would love to have a matching trailer for this skin.
Griff, what's going on today? That might be caused by a real company mod griff. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I really don't know. I would definitely start there, however. And yes, I cheated, only because I didn't feel like sitting there. How about any economy mods? It doesn't, Bob, but normally I keep those more towards the bottom of my list. Yeah, good question. Are you zoomed in on the map when you're looking, or are you, like, further out?
Are you running like any road discovery mod? Uh, you can always verify your local file integrity and other than that I really don't know because I don't see what mods that you're running but I do recommend starting a brand new profile you don't even need to do the first run put your mods in one or two at a time until the same issue happens and then you've got it pretty much figured down as to what mod or mod may be doing it but also that is a good way to check all of your mods to make sure they work Turn left. Whoa, brakes, 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 brakes. <laughs> hey, we stopped. Was there a car back there? Yep, we hit the car. Hey, Eugene, how's it going today? Now here is a good philosophy when it comes to mods. If you run mods, you have problems. I mean, that's pretty much a given. Run lots of mods, you've got lots of problems. Injections, what's going on today? Welcome. Oh, we got a tattoo, but it was a trailer tattoo. So that pizza house, i that's more than likely not a Sabero, but maybe, uh, maybe Pizza Hut Domino's. Maybe even, I'm not even going to say Papa John's. That's not good, Eugene.
power supplies can vary in cost Bosnian uh, basically the higher of the 80 plus rating you go the more expensive it is going to be also depending on wattage turn left are in a blasting area basically meaning shut your cell phones off and turn off your CBs
Uh, let's hope so there, Eugene. When a power supply goes, it can literally take the motherboard, processor, even your graphics card with it. You have arrived at your destination. Let's hope for the best so you can get back up and running as quick as possible. the wrong way yeah we cannot get down there so uh, time to back down the hill here I'm just going to take a look here. There might not be anything. Nope. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to check the freight market first. Uh, 7.40 p.m. Actually, let's change the time first. Alright, 7 a.m. Let's see if we can find anything going to Lamar. Either from Colorado Springs or from Pueblo. And definitely not there. Not there either. And eh, there's Burlington, but nope. Let's check quick jobs then. Ah, it seems like Lamar is one of those cities that might be a pain in the butt to go to. Yeah, nothing there either. These are all going to be longer trips, but what we can do is I will basically, I'm going to quickly teleport myself down to Yuma in order to get this, and then we're going to come up to Raton, and we're going to take out most of the trip, but so we can run this route right here. Where did that logo? Ah, there it is. 
please proceed to the highlighted route. Navigation resumed. And we're not going to do an extra lease trailer either. Uh, hell no, we are not doing Swift. We'll go ahead and put a Sunshine Crops trailer on. And nope, I've already got it completed. to the highlighted route. Navigation resume. This is just crazy, doing all that in order to run to Lamar. And basically, I'm not going to complain, but have it's the easiest way so we can keep our butts up here in Colorado for the time being. Actually, let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, I haven't been across 350 either. Uh, but actually, that farm actually may be right there. That looks like a pretty big Bushnell Farms. I don't know. Either way, we're, we'll hit 50 another time. But uh, we're just going to continue on, on our trip here. Yeah, Trucker Cola, SCS actually needs to come out with that.
continue straight. What do you mean, Griff? Oh, the hood ornament. Yes, the they do signify what is in the truck. A silver bulldog normally means uh, you are not running a Mac engine or a Mac transmission. Uh, so that is, say if you're going to run a Cummins with a 10, 13, or 18 speed or something like that. Uh, you are going to get a silver ornament. If you run a Mac engine along with a Mac transmission, that is the Gold Bulldog.
this Estes guy is really starting to tick me off. Yeah, we are gonna turn back. Aha, uh -huh, we found it. There it is. Wendy's ever said, well, so, yeah, I just screwed that up. Wendy said, where's the beef? There it is. That's a lot of beef. Look at that, there's a ton more. And I was on this road when I was doing the uh, Cruising Idaho event, but I never looked to the right when I went by there.
turn left. And yes, I know, I cut off the AI Volvo driver. You have arrived at your destination. Hey, 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 look at this. We get to end with the blind side back. Hitting something back there. Let's try this again. And this is where we call it quits for this Saturday. I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the stream, make sure that you leave a thumbs up if you are not subscribed. Hit that red subscribe button. Enable notifications by clicking on the gray bell. Have a great rest of your Saturdays. As always, keep that shiny side up and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.